Thank you, Lee. The most important, the, our last speaker and the most important one, sculptor David Demme. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's really fun standing here today uh, at this moment, knowing that this is now going to happen. Uh, I started working toward this almost 18 years ago. Uh, and uh, we almost did this about eight years ago when the city was going to do a, an iconic walking bridge from the uh, uh, convention center across the highway and land between the Rock Hall and the Science Center. And I think the bridge came in something like $25 million over budget. So yeah, it never happened, so the site went away. And at that time I thought, well, my dream about doing this is, is going to fade pretty quickly until Parnell came to my studio one day. Anyway, so uh, uh, the uh, images behind me, this, this was the image that I was uh, going to use that first time around. In the second time around, I decided I wanted to improve on it. And I, I believe that I did uh, with the model that is now uh, at a foundry in Texas. Uh, we're casting the three bronze figures of Siegel, Schuster, and Siegel here at Studio Foundry right here in Cleveland. I use them for all my bronze casting. Uh, but the foundry in Texas is capable of doing large stainless steel uh, pieces and they will fabricate. So they took my model and they're scanning it and blowing it up with the computer and printing out all the sections and then casting from there. So it'll be identical to the half scale model. Uh, so we're using a little bit of modern technology on, on part of this. Um, and then there's the phone booth uh, that wasn't the, with my original idea. Uh, that came along a little later, but I thought the phone booth was going to be especially uh, a fun part of, of the, uh, the site uh, because it's, it's also a little cartoony. Uh, you'll, you'll get to peer into the phone booth. You won't be able to walk into it, but you'll be able to peer into it. It'll have all the things that are in it an old phone booth that will have Clark Kent's uh, suit jacket and pants thrown in there and his socks and his shirt and his tie, his glasses. Uh, and uh, I've already made all those parts, so we're getting ready to fabricate uh, the phone booth itself. So uh, it's been a real adventure for me and a lot of fun. And, uh, uh, I just wanted to keep this brief so that we could have questions and I'd be happy to answer them too. David, um, what's up with Channel 8? What was the, I guess essentially the feedback or the response from DC when you showed them the, the renderings of what you um, envisioned the statue to look like? And also what was the reaction from, or how much of an input did the Siegel and Schuster's families have into the monument, the entire thing in itself. Uh, first of all, uh, Laura Siegel actually came to my studio uh, early on when I was working on this one. That's uh, Jerry Siegel's daughter. Yeah, and, and at that time I had only done the little model of the three uh, figures that were going to be in bronze. And she loved it. She, she just thought it was fantastic and couldn't wait to see it. And, and you know, I told her that uh, I definitely wanted her mom to be part of that threesome uh, because she was, uh, the, the quick story of it is that uh, Joe put an ad in the newspaper that he needed a model because he was doing a character for a magazine or a cartoon and Joanne showed up, she was 17 years old uh, and she showed up and while she was modeling for Joe, uh, Jerry Siegel came over to Joe's house and met her and started to explain to her uh, what Superman was all about. And her mom, uh, Laura told me the story that her mom told her, that uh, Jerry jumped up on the couch and leaped off the couch and uh, leapt off the couch, decided that uh, this is a special guy, you know. Uh, she went on to New York to become a model and 10 years later, re-met Jerry at a conference and they fell in love and got married. So uh, it, <laughs> it was a very special connection. Uh, so she was delighted that I was adding her to it. Uh, 
What about GC? Did they, and also, did they have any input into any changes? In, in both cases, when we were going to do this one, I sent pictures of this one and, and, and the plaza that we were going to create and everything. They, they really loved it then. They, they had no issues with it at all. Uh, because the, the letter that they gave us to approve it was for that site, you know, in that time, and since that went away, we had to go back to them. And uh, they, I wasn't in the meeting when they were responding, but from what I'm told, that they loved it and uh, were they, very can excited. I, can about I give it. you a response? Sure. I'll share with you. They loved it. The yes. initial response was they loved it. Yeah. But they did say, he looks like he's in his underwear. <laughs> now, I didn't want to say the Superman, but that's what he wears. Uh, but we, we, we listened. Did respond. So there was a softening, you can right. say, a softening yeah. of the art that made his uniform look a little more to their liking. Yeah. And by the way, it's not underwear. It is right. not. <laughs>